Your next step in setting up a positive system is to create the checkbook after you've set up your chart of accounts and your GL setup. So under the accounting tab, I go to checkbook. And in your checkbook, you can have multiple checking accounts. You can have checking accounts for payroll, your operations, your electronic transfers to the banks. All this will give you the ability to know what your cash position is in your checkbook. And when you go into your accounts payable, you can be prompted for which checkbook you want to use on that check run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the operations account. And as you can see, here are all my um, charges. Here I hit deposit. So by clicking add deposit, I can go in and say that I want to put in um, $1,000. And it's going to ask where the thousand is coming from. And I could say sale of old server. And then here I put which GL account that I'm going to charge. Now remember we are debiting cash whenever we do a, a deposit so we don't really have to um, put in the debit GL account only the credit side. So if I drill down here and I go down to my let's say office stuff under my assets um, see if I have something for office equipment. Um, I don't see, I'll say other assets. And that's one of my old servers. So by doing that and clicking OK, I am going to be debiting cash and crediting my asset uh, other supplies or other assets. Now if I'm going to be breaking it out amongst multiple accounts, I would click split accounts and put all the GL accounts until they balance my total deposit. If I'm going to just create a check, let's say I need to cut a check uh, for a pizza delivery. I click add check. I put in the dollar amount. It's going to be $78 with the tip. The payee can be an existing vendor an existing customer or I can type in Papa John's. So they're not a legitimate vendor but at least that's what the checks will be payable to. And then what is my expense account going to be? And I click on expenses and if I can find my office expense that's my pizza. Now that can also be taken directly from a cash drawer using the cash out function of the system. So that's how I cut a check and you can see down at the very bottom here I have a Papa John's check here and uh, here I have deposit for that old server. So when it comes time to actually print the laser checks you'll see under this tab print checks here's all the checks that came in from accounts payable uh, that I said I wanted to pay. What is my check number? And I'm going to start with 5900 zero, zero. and I'm using one part checks. Now if I look at my check layout on the voucher checks you can see here how we can design your existing check stock laser check stop perfed in the thirds to fit your system by just dragging, clicking that, and just dragging it around the screen. So once that's done, all we do is click print checks and put our check stock in and it will print all our checks for us. So that has to be set up before we get into our system setup. 